Welcome back. I made some... I've had to rearrange some things in here. Hopefully it's not going to be too hard to... Uh, to point at things. It is going to be very hard to point at things. Oh no. We'll get used to it. Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm going to have a weird... A weird time swimming around. In the future. Oh yeah, we actually don't have anything to do right now. We could... Mm. Look at what this cursor's doing! Oh my god. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. Try moving the sensor bar a little bit. Slightly better. Hi. Spindles. So apparently there's a Wikipedia page on... on spindle-shaped. Like, you can literally just type spindle shape into Wikipedia and, hey, there's a page there. And actually, having said that, I can agree. Some of these creatures are very spindle shaped. Like, this is a spindle. The game does not agree. You know what? Whatever. Are we where we need to be for... <laughs> this is gonna be tough. The the sense bar is about level with my remote on the on the table basically. Well, now I can make it work. Oh, whatever. Why does it work now? No, now it doesn't. Are there things in the way that might be it? Its own no one, sensor bars on wires might be in the way. Is that it? It's not all. The sensor bar or the Wii remote is not made for the sensor bar to be on approximately the same altitude as the as the sensor bar. I have it set to below right now. The sensor bar being below the screen, even though it's like a good few like ten to twenty centimeters to the left of the screen. And not very below. Ah jeez. Oh, Oh man, we actually can't really do all this in one go. Oh yeah, we had some stuff over here on the side to take care of. Ah! Ah! Concentrating. Eh, something like that. That might be a little overkill. For being to the left. I don't know how far I can go out to the... I don't know about that. That's... I don't know if that's enough to the south that I can go or not. Because you can go across that line a little. Oh my god! Please. Okay. My hand is now resting on the table. That seems about ideal. I think. I cannot... I cannot... There. It won't let me drop it there. Why can't the boat be there? There's like a spot where the boat can't be over here. Is there something in the boat's way over there? I guess I can be here. And then I can get other stuff in one go up to the north anyways. Okay. Four minutes in and it's just me trying to make the controller work. But hey, if this actually works out to where I can just leave my arm resting on the table as I'm doing this, that'll be so much better. There have been other cases where I had to hold my arm back over a chair as I was doing this for like upwards of like 20 minutes at a time, if not m more. Well, that's what upwards of means, but point being, for a very long time. Man, he started standing up straight there when I brought up that menu. It's hard going to the low angles. But this could be more or not more ergonomic, maybe. It is admittedly a little surreal having this thing off to the side. I it's not like I can just have the sensor bar. It's gonna be too close if I try to put it on the screen itself. Or even well, then the mic then the if I try to put it anywhere approximately in front of the screen, my when it gets turned sideways, because it has to connect to the side of the computer at the same time, which is where the screen is. 
And my microphone is in the way. Where are you? Ah. Where, where have you gone? Where are we? <laughs> Why can't I find the cursor? Oh man. This, this may prove up. Why can't I do anything now? I'm sorry that this is so absurd. It was in this exact same position before and everything was fine. This is a problem. Seriously, what the heck? Okay, now it's like a full... Okay, I'm pointing at this thing like 90 degrees to my left now. Where are we? It's better this way at least. By at least a bit. So I imagine that there's a, there ought to be some landmark or another over in this region that we haven't explored. It's not very deep over here, I know this. Yeah, it's really hard to get the pointer to go low. Those guys will never leave me alone if I give them the slightest amount of attention. So I will avoid doing that. Sorry, I think that microphone's a little further from me than usual. Oh, this game. Oh, this game goes between making no noise like now, pff, high fish, and sometimes making a lot of noise. It's kind of a pretty place in its own right. It's interesting how shallow this all is. Just some nice vegetation, and that dips down a little bit. Well, here we've already been, but. It's nice having a good dive during the day. I feel like we've had a relative lack of those in this game. I am? Darn it. I know. I heard you. I had just righted myself though, so I was kind of disappointed. To immediately be told I had to turn more and mess up my orientation. It'd be kind of nice if you could even see like a wall. Just a very faint transparent wall. Outlining how far you can go. Because having to just play around this invisible wall is kind of annoying. And another drop off. It's super shallow and then... Void. It does look a little bit how featureless this all is. These drop-offs, like, it, it's flat enough to where you can see the texture repeating itself. Here, though, it actually drops off for quite a bit. Did I just hear someone... Did I hear a fish just now? Is there a fish following me down here? I will still keep an eye out for some particular species that we need to get pictures or whatever of, but... I make no promises. It is weird how you just have something so shallow and then it drops off into the nothingness. Let me touch you. Small fish. Yes. Poke. How do I poke something smaller than my finger? Well, if they're just poking me at that point. Whoa! Not trying to turn that way. I don't think any of these fish seem new or anything like that. Not looking that closely at the at the surface of anything, although the thing is, if you want to pay attention to the surfaces, you kind of just need to look at only that surface, which gets a little boring. You're just scraping your face along the rock. I 
Ooh. You're someone new. No, you're not. Darn it! Go away! You're not new. I don't want you anymore. Too many things and then go away. Why can't I touch you? Try to poke it. What is happening? Huh. Do you like being poked? No? Like being fed? <laughs> just kind of cloud its whole head with the food. It's kind of weird. You don't put the food in front of them or anything. What is with the cursor here? Why can't I select things? Body rings. But well, it's kind of funny, you just like toss the food in their faces instead of like putting it in front of them. Right thing, like that. Really poor swimmers. It's a weird thing for a fish to be. Oh, I guess you have like sponges and whatnot too. Could be worse. I'm, I'm not going down there, don't you worry. That was disappointing. <laughs> I had some real excitement for a second there. This is a strangely tame portion of the ocean. There's not really anything out here so far. It's kind of pretty and nice and, and easy going. But I feared it would at the very least maybe even just be identified for being that specifically. Ooh. Every little thing you can expect close and like that, I love it. Hold up. And imagine missing some kind of little fish like this. And having to scour the earth for one of those. You would never know just by sight if you have something like that or not. Components. I wonder if we'll actually complete that thing at some point. It'll be weird if this is just one random stretch of the ocean that doesn't have any landmarks, though, because I feel like the landmark density will just awkwardly be lower here than anywhere else, so it turns out that there's not actually anything to see down here. Looks like there's a little bit to see down here. A little bit more than usual. Sometimes there's stuff on the edge. Only sometimes. There's one landmark for some reason on the edge of the game world in one random location. And the game kind of acts as if it's the only spot that has that sudden drop, which I find kind of weird. That's not to say, hey, are those bowls indicative of something? Hey, I wanted to touch you. Three spot. Actually, those other little ones don't look familiar. Ah, huh. here's little ones. It's kind of a new thing. Can you see the juvenile ones in your encyclopedia or anything like that? I'm not sure if you can. Maybe you can. Or in the aquarium, not certain. Almost out of time for the episode, but there's still more stuff to to look through here, I feel like. There's an interesting little spot there in that corner. I don't think it mirrors its own landmark, but maybe a maybe just a little title. Oh. Not trying to do barrel rolls there. You're so shallow I can't even swim over things actually. 
And we've got some interesting vegetation here. Like, at least give this place a name. There we go. The chin. This feels like a place you would hide something, doesn't it? Just on the ground here. Feels like too notable a place otherwise. I may have been here before, at least, um, I may have encountered this name before. I was trying to turn around like that. Maybe you can't turn around like that if you're going up or down. No, you can do that and in any orientation, as disorienting as that is. I guess I'll cut it here, because I'm also a little short on time tonight. Recording stuff. I'll take a, a look at what's left here next time. We're almost done exploring everything there is this game world has to see, but only almost. So I'll see what else there is next time. Hopefully with some better controls. Ah! Bye everyone. <laughs>